Oh, hello, and welcome to Bottles to Consider. This is the bottle we are getting into today. It is the Camelback Shoot Mag, which you'll see why in a sec. And I'm not gonna hide my feelings here. I'm loving this bottle, so let's get into it. Okay, so followers of the channel are probably quite familiar with my search for an everyday bottle that meets my needs, my wants. They're very much wants, not needs. And it's something I've struggled with, wanting a bottle that is insulated and fits in cup holders and holds more than 18 ounces, preferably more than 24. That list of bottles is small, and this is just about one of them. So let's just look over some of the things I'm really liking about this bottle. The first of just this particular one I'm holding here is the color. I have gotten so many compliments on this color. It feels great. I believe it is called Terracotta Rose. I keep saying it, it's like Pepto-Bismol and everyone keeps saying, no, it's darker than Pepto-Bismol. I guess it's darker than Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, it's got like a nice, you know, premium feel like you'd expect from the sort of higher end bottles. It has some like style. It fits in lots of cup holders, not all cup holders. And even in mine, it's a little precarious. And I'll say, for like driving comfort, I still use, um, well here, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up. I still use the Hydro Flask Lightweight Trail Series or whatever it's called, something like that, um, which is a touch narrower. You can't really, wow, it really, it's just a touch narrower. But it makes all the difference for feeling secure in my personal car cup holder. And then also I think straw, this with a straw while you're driving, it's perfection. I don't think it looks as nice though. I don't get joy really from holding it in a way that I do from this. But um, yeah, so as a car centric thing, I still go here. But the fact that this one can even fit at least means it's functional for me. Another thing I love about this one is the cap. And I've been going back and forth on this so much the last few years. Do I like an everyday beverage to be drunk out of like a straw in this sort of bottle context? Or do I want to be able to, you know, just kind of guzzle it old school? And I, I waffle back and forth, you know? And I think it's an interesting thing, which I could go on way too far a tangent about, that I feel like I'm starting to learn with this bottle. There might just not be one correct bottle for me for every day, which is a hard for me to like wrap my, you know, uh, what's the word, brain around, change the narrative. Because I'm really the kind of person like, I'd sort of like to just wear the same outfit every day. I don't like to have to like make choices about that sort of stuff throughout the day. Um, it's sort of like the idea of every day waking up and being like, oh, what sort of clothes do I want to wear? What sort of bottle do I want to put in my bag? What sort of this, what sort of that? It, it makes me anxious, it's not a fun feeling. But I've been getting so much joy out of drinking from this while still sometimes wanting to drink out of a straw that I'm like, wow, maybe I'm the kind of person who wakes up and goes, what sort of bottle do I want to use today? Makes me a little anxious, but I'm trying to sort of uh, embrace it. The lid is great in a couple of ways. You know, unscrews. This is, very familiar. This is a very familiar camelback sort of form factor. Um, this bottle in different varieties has been around for a long time. Uninsulated plastic uh, has been around forever. But so you unscrew this and it, this is an interesting little cap holder thing here, but here's where it gets great. There's a little magnet happening right here. It's not super powerful, but it's enough that then when, uh, there's a little water in there. When you drink from it, the cap does not fall on your nose or anything. That's so nice. It solves the problem of like a cap bumping you. It also solves the problem of having to remove a cap, put it down and then wonder where it is. I really don't like that. This I'd say is the most elegant solution I have seen for a cap based bottle. Um, and it's, probably one of the few reasons why I'm even open to this being a sort of daily bottle I use compared to a straw where there's nothing to kind of like lose or misplace throughout the day. And even right here, 
trying to make sure. Um, even right here, you can't really see it in the light, but there's just, there's a faint little scoop out in the, um, you know, thinner part of the mouthpiece that just makes it so nice where you rest your lip. And it's just a little thing, but I really love it. And it's very clear, like, oh, these people have been sort of like refining this bottle for a long time. And I think it shows. Another thing I love, it holds carbonated beverages as good as anything I've tried. It does a little, um, like if it's tightened and there's a beverage in it and you undo it, it'll kind of like sneeze a little, like it actually makes like a little sneezing sound and will shoot a little bit of water sort of just out. Um, not enough that it would get on anything, but so there's like a tiny, you know, mess, I guess you could say, uh, and just a sound, but overall it's totally fine with carbonated beverages, which straws are not, as I've gotten into before, I'll put links to below. You can see my sort of findings on that. Small cons, they're really cons just about sort of my preferences, how I daily use bottles. Cause like this bottle just like does, I think everything quite well. As I said, sometimes I still just prefer straws um at the gym you know i like having especially if i'm doing any sort of work on a floor or anything like that i can have it i can have a straw lid open next to me and not be worried i'm gonna knock it over and spill water and this it's like i just undoing a cap on and off all the time is just kind of annoying lol i was just excited i thought i'd found another con a scuff in the paint that felt a little premature, but it was just dust. The paint has been holding up beautifully. I've been using this a lot for about two months, I would say. I will wonder, I will wonder, I do wonder long-term, there's this little crease right here in the mag lid. Um, it feels like a real potential weak point, like I could rip that off. So something I'll just be keeping an eye on, but I'm like so nitpicking looking for issues right now. It's a great bottle. Have, have I made it clear that I've been enjoying it? This isn't a con, this is just something I've run into with this bottle. This opening right here, you know, I imagine just for hooking onto somewhere or something. I feel like I've almost kind of broken my fingers a few times holding it. And I don't know, I'm, I'm walking and I raise my hand quickly or I can't think of exactly how it even happens. Does something hit it maybe? Sometimes it's a little like, uh, is this gonna be a disaster? at some point. Uh, it hasn't been, but I'd be curious if anyone's had problems with that. Cause this isn't the only bottle I've had that with. These like rigid handles that are like the perfect size for one to two fingers. I'm just like, you're courting disaster. Okay, so there you have it. I now am in a place where I have two bottles I really like in different ways. And like, I feel a little guilty about that. Sometimes I get anxious about like, you know, being wasteful or buying too much. And I'm like, oh, well, if everyone doubles the amount of stuff they have, we're gonna be in trouble. I know it's not like a totally coherent, you know, view of the world, but it's just a way I get sort of anxious sometimes. I wish I didn't want to have two water bottles. And if it's two, why won't it become three or four or five? And then I have a closet full. Um, you know, part of this channel, I feel like, is trying to, like, look at these bottles so that you all can hopefully find ones that you like instead of just going and buying one that looks right that day and then, you know, a few months later, you're like, ah, oh, that was annoying in X, Y, or Z ways. You know, part of the goal is, like, to help people buy fewer water bottles but buy the ones that work for them. But, you know, there are two bottles I like now. The takeaway for you all, at least, is that this is a good bottle. I'll sort of continue this monologue with myself offline. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I'll have links to everything I talked about in the show notes and whatnot. And, um, you know, if you're interested in any of these products and you click through on the links that I provide, it actually helps my channel, like, financially. So I really appreciate that. It helps me, you know, keep making videos and keep trying out bottles. And as always, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, tell a friend about the channel and I will see you all next time. All right, bye.